Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, it's my face again, in case you didn't know. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Justice League uh, movie uh, characters, I guess, designs, against the Lego versions of that same design. Uh, there are a couple of situations where it doesn't quite match up, uh, but there's a couple of ones that are really accurate and I really like. So let's get into the video where I talk over everything. Okay, so uh, this first one is Aquaman. Uh, I think this is a very good adaptation. I like his suit in the movie. Uh, I think this is based on the original uh, version for the original cut. Uh, I don't know if he had his design changed in the Snyder cut, but I think it's good. You know, like the figure looks good. Uh, no lower leg uh, printing, which is a bit of a shame, but overall, a good figure. Quite accurate as well. Now this is just a basic Atlantean, but I think it's a good figure. I like the helmet. Very gold, which is a bit of a shame. Like, you can't really use it outside of a golden figure. But the printing's nice, uh, and the detail, I think, is fairly accurately done. Um, it's a shame that there were duplicates in the set, and not a couple of varieties and faces, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, can't be helped. Okay, so this is the first Batman figure that came for the Justice League set. Uh, I think this is a good figure. I like the like the small fine details in him. Uh, he doesn't have dual molded legs, which is quite weird, but the figure looks good uh, if the printing was dual molded, but it's not. So this isn't bad, but it could be improved a lot. And uh, this is another good figure. Uh, I don't know if this suit was actually used, so this is just the... Um, concept art, but I think it looks pretty nice, uh, like the figure version at least, uh, and the actual version, I didn't notice any suit changes in the film, but I could have just not noticed it. Okay, so now we have Cyborg. Uh, this is another very good uh, figure in the movie. He's got quite a few extra details uh, on his robotic suit, but in Venice I don't think he could have been put into the Lego version of him. Um, it's a very good figure to be honest. Uh, the arms are a little bit weird considering that it only came in this one set and you don't have an actual arm for him. But you know, it can't be helped. Well, it can be, but it'd be awkward to do. Uh, I would prefer it if he had a regular arm, but you know, what Stan has done is not very hard to change. Okay, so the suit from the movie is very good. Uh, on the fan of the design for it, and I think the figure is very good as well. Like, I really like this figure. The face print's a bit weird, uh, and there was some quality issues with it not looking quite as clear as it was meant to, but it's uh, very good if you think about it in the concept and in some of the lucky people that got a decent printed figure. Uh, I don't have any issues with this at all. So, uh, moving on to Superman now. Uh, I couldn't find any good images of just Superman, so this will have to do. But the figure itself looks quite nice. I like the alternate face printing. I would have preferred a closed mouth expression for his other face, but you know, it can't be helped. Uh, I think it's very accurate. I would have preferred if he had dual molded legs, but you know, can't be helped. And it would have also been nice if we had a black suit version, but obviously they didn't realise that it wasn't going to turn out in the movie uh, after the sets were released and stuff, so. It can't be helped uh, without a black suit, but I would have liked to see one. Okay, so I think LEGO did an amazing job with the Parademons. Uh, I think the designs for them are very good. I like the back uh, cloth, not cloth, plastic pieces that they used for the wings. Uh, they had a green and yellow version, which I think is very colourful, and I prefer that to the uh, more metallic, like, dark colours to the movie. They're both good in their own way. But I think the figures are better coloured than they are not. Uh, I think it would have made them so a bit worse. So the figures are nicely designed, but the movie version is also nicely designed. They're just not accurate to each other. So Steppenwolf was a build rather than a minifigure, but I'll count him in this list because why not? Uh, I think the figure version is very good. Uh, I like the head mould and the printing on the torso. Um, I don't have any issues with him being brick built. Uh, I like the red touches on him, but compared to the movie version, uh, both movie versions in fact, like they're not very accurate to him. Uh, very good figures, again, 
um, but I prefer the uh, Snyder Cut version of Step and Move, and generally I think they're not very accurate, but still very good and very nicely designed. Okay, so that's the end of that video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and what do you think about me using my voice rather than the music? Would you prefer to see me more uh, of me talking? Or would you prefer the text to come back and music? Or I can maybe try and find a way to do music and me talking? You choose. Um, by the way, something for the future of the channel is I've got this set today, so I'll be doing a review of that very soon. Uh, kind of interested to see how that goes. But yeah, that, that's pretty much what I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And bye.